what's going on everyone it's your boy Pada man back with another video my microphone is low my bad for that today's video we have the best budget cars i'm sorry i'm up with this monday morning i've just been very busy man uh, i decided to take off the weekend uh i'm gonna promise you guys the only weekend i take off for the rest of the year I'm going to try to grind content every other day. Uh, we've got the best budget cards. Again, this is a weekly series. I'm going to you know, give you guys 10 good budget cards that you guys can use on your team. Drop a like, smash it, man. Let's go for 20 likes on this video. We're literally so close to 4K subscribers, bro. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, turn the notification bell. Let's get right into this video. So the first card I have, man, no time wasted. I got Claude Giroux, 85 milestone card. It just came out. You guys can see he's going for around like 30, 40, like 45,000 coins. I would not spend over 45,000 coins for this card, but uh, I like this card. I said this in my milestone event breakdown. I'm like, yo, this card has it all. He's got like really good face-offs, 88, put him on the center, second line face-off, man, third line face-off, man. And he's got really good speed, 89 acceleration and 89 speed with 88 agility. That's just a W for the skating category. Uh, shooting, 90 slap shot accuracy, 85 slap shot power with 88 wrist shot accuracy and 84 wrist shot power. The thing about Claude Drew's card is it's always going to be fly. It's always going to be fire. So I think this is a, a definitely like if you're looking for a good third line center, even if your team isn't the best, he can be a really good second line center. I think he kind of fits for everyone. If you're if you're a free to play user, he's a perfect card. If you have a really good team and you just need like a good third to fourth line player, Claude Drew is that guy. He can he can play, play put him on your penalty kill like 88 face off is really good. I'm not a big fan of his abilities. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish he had better synergies, but for the price, I think this is honestly an awesome card to have on your team. All right, guys, the next card is the defenseman, Eric Carlson. He's going for around 33 to 40,000 coins. I would not spend more than 44,000 coins on this card. Again, I think Eric Carlson's an always, he's always a W, man. He's like, he's just like, like I said before in previous videos, there's those cards in Hut that are always fun to use. Like, you got Taylor Hall, Steven Stamkos, Dylan Larkin. Uh, Matt Duchesne's, Eric Carlson's, you know, Yossi's. These type of cards are just fun to use. They're like, honestly, meta cards. For the price point, you're getting a solid defenseman, man. You're getting a guy who has 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 88 agility. Um, really good shot for a defenseman. Good offensive stats. Can literally deke around with them. I think this is honestly a perfect defenseman card. He can be your top four. He can be your top... He can be, honestly, your best defenseman on your team. I think... He's a perfect top four guy for right now. If your team's stacked, go ahead and get him. Like he, like the thing is, he's an 85 overall. But I swear he will play like an 88, bro. Just because of his speed, his shot. For a defenseman, second line defenseman, he can get it done. He can score nasty goals, and he's kind of like low key, like a a, a a worse version of Makar in the game. Like Air Carlson, this card is like if you can't afford kill Makar. Uh, obviously Makar's a lefty, I'm pretty sure. Carlson's a righty. But still, like, I think Eric Carlson is kind of like a budget version of uh, 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 Kill McCarr. But uh, this is Eric Carlson. He's always a fire card to use. So if I you guys, I'd give him a shot. All right. Dylan Larkin, 86 overall, hut 23 card. The reason why I have Dylan Larkin, he's cheap, like 37,000 coins. I see him. He's pretty, he's a good price out there, like 37,000 coins. That's a really good price. Anything under 44K is, is a very awesome price for him. I have his X Factor card. I think he's one of my favorite cards to use all year. He's just a beast. He comes with Thief, 91 acceleration, 91 speed, 89 agility, 87 slap shot power, 83 wrist shot accuracy, 85 wrist shot power. Just, you can put him on the center if you really want to. I think personally, I prefer him on the wing just because he's super fast and he's got a good wrist shot on him. I love his X Factor, bro. If there's one card I can really give you guys my like personal advice, is it's, it's got to be Dylan Larkin, 86 milestone card. He's he's cheap. He's under 50,000 coins. A solid second and third line player. Um, I, I think he's an awesome buy. I think he's worth the price. If you're a budget player, even if you uh, even if you have a good team, you can still put this. I mean, Larkin, in my opinion, plays like a superstar. He can literally be your third to fourth line lefty. Now I know it's hard because he is a lefty and there's so many good left lefties in the game especially if you have overpowered squads but i still think he's worth the price and uh, i think i know i think he's a good fit to be honest all right we're getting a little bit expensive here we got joe nudendike uh he's a beast i, I i'm okay I, i'm pretty sure i pronounced his name right but i'm like 95 percent sure i did i might pronounce the name wrong but i think he's a fly fly card fire card um, this card is mainly for the guys who have overpowered squads. 93 face-offs, man. I think he's going for like 50k on the market, bro. 
93 face-offs. This guy should be on your team, honestly, probably the entire season. At least until, like, team of the year, bro. Like, 93 face-offs, bro. Put him on your fourth line if you have an overpowered squad. If you have a budget team, he can be your second. He can literally be your best face-off, man. 93 face-offs. Uh, close quarters, honestly, a very good ability. He has applesauce. You know, he's got 86 acceleration and 86 agility is a concern. Not the best acceleration and agility. Speed's 89. Uh, that's kind of a concern, but everything else is good. The shot's good. He's got a really good, uh, okay, come on, like, wrist shot accuracy, 93 power, nine. like, he, he can shoot, bro. He can shoot the puck, and he's got 93 face off. This is a good card, in my personal opinion. Uh, again, the only problem, man, is, and he's 6'2", bro. He's 6'2". He's not, he's a big body. He's not gonna get knocked off the puck as much. It's the acceleration and the agility that is my biggest concern, man. Everything else is perfect besides those two stats. But I still think he's a good card for uh, all team. Like, if it doesn't matter if you have a budget squad, free-to-play squad, uh, overpower squad. I think he can honestly fit on any team. He's a versatile card. So, I just wanted to throw him in the video. All right, things are going to get a little bit expensive here. I got uh, Dennis Potvin. Uh, hopefully, I said his name right, man. I know him from previous years. He's always a fire card. He's expensive, though. I think the cheapest right now is 80,000 coins. He's an 88. I'm going to start adding, again, as the series progresses, we're going to add in more higher overall players, which means the price is going to go up. Like, my kind of plan with this series is each week, I feel like you guys should have better players. Also, your coin stack should go up. So each week, we're going to build it up. I think Dennis is a fire card, man. Defenseman, left, lefty defenseman. He can honestly be a certified number one for you guys. Uh, his shot is fantastic for a D-man. Uh, which would honestly last you like at least a month. I guarantee you this card will last you five to six weeks, bro. Like, like he's 88 overall lefty defenseman with an amazing shot. Again, speed's a concern. I, I kind of wish, like, if he had 87 speed, 88 acceleration, it'd be, like, too good to be true. But 87 acceleration, 88 agility, speed's decent on his card. I think his shot's fantastic. Like, overall, bro, I think this is a card that you can honestly use. Like, right now we're in November. You can probably use this card all the way till december bro even maybe january i like i'm not like trust me guys like I, i'm telling you this card he is it's a good card in my personal opinion all right to wrap up this video i got patrick wall um i think he's a must build bro sorry guys i coughed oh man my, my my throat is killing me pause but i think he's a solid card to buy not buy pardon me do not buy this card build them okay it's, it's super easy i think you need three collectibles to build his 86 um you're gonna it's gonna cost you a little bit to get him to an 89 but even like his 86 isn't like i think his 84 or whatever his base card isn't even that bad you can power him up as the year progresses so you can take your time with powering him up i think everyone should build him just because he's always a good goalie i think honestly bro everyone should just get three collectibles make them and then see how he is if he's bad you can use him like if he doesn't play good for you you can use him in a set in the future get your collectibles back for a future event or you can upgrade him and see how he is. I think he's a good build. He's always a fantastic goal, goalie build in the game. He's got the x-ray. I'm just saying, I think he is, if you ever want to get a goalie, I think he's one of the goalies that you should get. I think he can honestly last your team for like two months. Like, I, I think he's worth the price to pay for the collectibles, especially if he plays good. Like, you get your goalie for literally like two months until like February, honestly. January for sure. So that's going to also kind of wrap up the video. Drop a like, subscribe. Let me know some secret gems that you have seen last week that you are messing with, uh, that you want to kind of let other people know. I know a lot of people are really secretive. A lot of people gatekeep stuff. You know, a lot of people don't want to tell other people what cards are, and I completely understand. But at least let me know, right? Like, give me a private DM on Twitter and be like, yo, Pat, this card's OP. I promise I won't tell anybody. But drop a like, subscribe. 20 likes on this video. Again, if you're new, man, I really appreciate it if you subscribe, if you enjoy the video. And, uh, yeah, leave, leave, leave down in the comments what you guys think. I think the best three out of all these cards I showed today that you guys honestly should get, I think the Patrick Waugh is a must build, even if, like, just build them 86. I really, really, really mess with Eric Carlson's card if you don't have Kill Makar. And I think Potvin's honestly a good build if you want to get a solidified number uh, number one D-man. But again, I think this week there's a lot of good choices to pick from. Again, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Peace out.